Thank you, Chair. After eight years, it's clear to me that the government contracting system in Canada is badly broken. Uh, we have officials here today responsible for the department that oversees government contracting. Now, with Arrive Scam, we have a situation in which a tiny company, GC Strategies, with no right, ability Chairman. to do right, anything, Chairman. can get hundreds of millions in contracts and then subcontract. Uh, the Auditor General found that the process was actually rigged in favor of this company, and we heard at the Government Operations Committee that this company broke the law by systematically altering resumes in order to get deals. The Procurement Ombudsman found further that the system was built to help insiders get contracts and to push those contractors to charge the government more. Um, Frankly, these aren't just arrive scam issues. These are systematic issues. Uh, you're the department responsible for overseeing contracting. Uh, with this systematic incompetence, corruption, perhaps both uh, that we're seeing, what would you say to Canadians who look at your department and say, have you guys become totally useless given that these things could happen and, and, um, and you're supposed to be watching and, and it, they happened anyways? Mr. Chair, for the question, what I would say to Canadians is that the procurement system is very complex. It has become more complex over years from a number of drivers, international trade agreements, a number of rulings. Uh, so, so, sorry, I'm, gonna, I'm, 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 just, I'm just, I am going to press the point, though. The, the question isn't whether or not it's complex. The question is whether your department is doing anything, whether your department is adding value. Uh, if, if you if we're, we're, we're able to allow this kind of uh, corruption, incompetence, or both in the procurement process, if it just happened while you were, while you were there, um, was your department adding any value? Was it doing anything in the process? Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. What, what I was about to say was, given this complexity, we have processes, uh, procurement processes that are complex to try and deal with kind of rules, regulations, and whatnot. What we are doing and what our eff strong effort is is to make procurement simpler so it's more open to small, medium-sized enterprises across this country, particularly diverse uh, suppliers across this country. By making it more simple, making it more accessible, we'll get better value for Canadians. Okay, I, that, that doesn't really answer the, the question, though. In fact, the Procurement Ombuds, Ombudsman's report uh, shows that the system was built uh, to preference insiders because you had to have pre-existing experience with the government of Canada in order to get those those uh, bids. So, so, so um, I'm not getting a clear answer to what your what your department does. I, just maybe move, moving it up to the to the minister. Uh, what what uh, does Minister Duclos do as Minister of Procurement? Um, is he is he responsible for what happened here? Uh, if if uh, was was he seeking briefings on GC strategies. Um, what, 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 is, what is he doing in his role or not doing? Um, thank you for the question, Mr. Chair. Typically, our procurement uh, authority kind of is delegated from the minister down to departmental officials, and the vast majority of our procurement activity is authorized, managed, and overseen by departmental officials. 